Hi everyone, this is Mike Doan from Term Management and this blog post is going to focus on deprecating terms from your term sets or your terms in the term sets in the taxonomies built inside the SharePoint 2010 term store rather than deleting them. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So we've got a clinical health care term group. We have a department, a typical clinical department. Let's say I've got a department called Bad Debt. And let's say that we're going to change the name of that department or we're going to um, get rid of the bad debt department entirely because we're going to uh, take the work off site or whatever it happens to be. But the decision has been made that bad debt's no longer going to be a department in the company. Uh, so what would we do with this term bad debt in, in that we don't want, we really don't want people to uh, start uh, or keep tagging uh, documents with bad debt. What we can do, instead of deleting the term, which really would just get rid of it and we wouldn't see it there anymore, we wouldn't realize that it's what was part of the term set, what we can do is deprecate it. And what that simply means is that it applies that little uh, label uh, to the icon that says this term is no longer being used in uh, the term store and users can no longer apply or use bad debt. But it also keeps it here to show us that at one time, bad debt was one of the terms that was being applied. So let me show you how that actually ends up, what it looks like with regard to um, tags that have already been applied to documents. So if I go to a term set here, a sample term set, uh, I mean a sample a document library, you can see that the, word bad, the term bad debt's already been applied to this document. And now if I want to go edit the properties, I check it out and I can see that bad debt is now uh, in red and it's underlined in red. And what that simply means is that this term is no longer available uh, for use uh, in the, the system in this document library. And that if I try to save it again, I'm going to get an error message saying that this is just simply not working anymore. So I'd have to delete bad debt out of here. Uh, it's still going to keep it on the document, but if I wanted to use it again, in this case, by saving it over, I'm, I'm trying to reuse it. Uh, it simply wouldn't work. So I just probably go pick another uh, term set like activities, apply that, and that'll work fine. And now we've changed that to activities. But the idea here is that um, instead of deleting this term, which is sort of take it out of uh, the awareness of the taxonomist or any other information management person who's in here looking up and, and, and maybe modifying the taxonomies over time, instead it keeps it in place, but it makes it visually obvious that this term is no longer useful. The one tricky thing about this though is that, well two things, one when you add that deprecate uh, to a term it doesn't require you to save it, it automatically saves it, but two it does not uncheck this box available for tagging. It doesn't make it available for tagging even though this box is checked so I don't know if that's a bug or what that happens to be but just be aware that even when you deprecate a term, in this case bad debt, it does not uncheck this box, which you normally would do uh, to gray out the term and to make it unavailable for use. So that might be a little conflict that could be uh, upgraded in the next version of the term store, but I just want you to be aware of that. When you deprecate a term, it doesn't uncheck that box, even though, as we saw, uh, that the term is not available for, for use any longer. So uh, just a quick update there on a, a very in-depth and detailed part of uh, SharePoint 2010 Term Store Management uh, tool, but certainly one that I'm using a lot now as I start to modify taxonomies and I'm removing terms that were originally there. Instead of deleting, I'm now using uh, this deprecation feature, which I think works great. It keeps uh, the term in place, but lets you know this term is no longer used. So that was uh, this month's blog post. I'm Mike Doan from Term Management LLC. We'll talk to you soon.